On this episode of the vlog, we are showing you Vancouver's deepest dig to date, the 120 foot deep dig at 1515 Alberni Street in downtown Vancouver. So stay tuned to learn about the entire process from start to finish, how they dig the excavation, how they shore it. But the question still remains, why are they digging a hole this deep in downtown Vancouver? And more importantly, after the excavation is complete, how do they get the excavators out of the bottom of the hole? Stay tuned to find out all that and more. Today we are in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, the hub of global trade on Canada's west coast. With a population of over 756,000 people in the downtown Vancouver area alone, let alone the 3.1 million people in all of the lower mainland, Vancouver is arguably one of BC's fastest growing cities. And how do you accommodate all these people? You build homes, townhomes, condo buildings and high rises. And that's where Bell Pacific Excavating and Shoring LP comes in. As Vancouver's oldest and most well-respected excavation and shoring contractors, Bell Pacific has worked on numerous iconic buildings such as the Telus Gardens, Shangri-La Tower, 610 Granville Tower, and Jimmy Pattison Building. Bell Pacific started back in 1994 after a merger between Bell Contracting and Pacific Blasting. At the time, the two companies were competing for market share in the space and it was the owner's best interest to form a limited partnership hence Bell Pacific Excavating and Shoring LP. Bell Pacific today operates as part of the Norland Limited Group of Companies, a large group of companies com completing complex infrastructure and civil projects across the Lower Mainland and beyond. Over the years, high rises have become taller and taller, and the 1515 Alberni Street project is no exception to that. Standing at 439 feet vertically, with over 200 residences nestled in Coal Harbor, it's one of Vancouver's taller buildings to date. It's a team effort between Bosa Properties, Kingswood Properties, Bureau Olshiran, and Frankel Architecture. The building is nicknamed the Jenga Tower and is characterized by glass-enclosed cantilevers get, that give it a 3D living experience, having unparalleled views of downtown Vancouver and Stanley Park. In order to build tall high-rises, you have to dig deep, but not for the reason you might think. While yes, high-rises need to be anchored into competent ground such as bedrock, the real reason for the deep excavations is actually for parking requirements. In order to have over 200 residences, you need the equivalent or if not similar amount of parking spaces. Bell Pacific's scope on this project actually begins with their sister company, Pacific Blasting and Demolition, which is another one of the group of companies under the Norland Limited name. Pacific Blasting and Demolition came in to demolish a large water feature, two and a half levels of parkade, and a commercial rental unit to make way for the excavation and eventual construction of 1515 Alberni. Once demolition was complete, excavation began with a CAT 352 and 349 excavator, excavating the surface levels of soil and exporting them at street level. As excavation progressed deeper, soon conventional excavators could no longer load out at street level, which was the cue for Bell Pacific to deploy their first custom piece of equipment, a CAT 336 Longreach, which reaches 60 feet deep. As excavation progressed vertically downward, the CAT 336 long reach perched on the edge of the excavation, digging material cast by the excavators in the excavation to a pile, digging that pile and loading it out at street level. The 336 is equipped with a camera mounted on the stick because as you can imagine, digging, digging over a vertical wall, you may not have the greatest visibility, so they added that camera on the stick. 
On these deep excavations, moving dirt is one of the most critical tasks that can hold up the entire project. If dirt can't be excavated and hauled off site, the shoring process and project itself stops. Hence the need for these custom pieces of equipment to help the project progress. So now you may be wondering, how do they dig these deep excavations safely without the vertical walls collapsing in? That's where Bell Pacific's shoring expertise comes in. As excavation advances vertically, so does shoring of the excavation walls. The process is done in sections, with an excavator trimming what is called a panel to expose a vertical face, while virgin dirt stabilizes the adjacent walls. A pneumatically powered drill called an air track drill then moves in to drill holes for anchor bars in locations predetermined by engineers. Bell Pacific used both hollow bar and normal anchors on this project. Installing anchor bars is similar to how you would drill a long screw into a stud in the wall of your home. Once drilling is complete, a grout tube is inserted and specified amount of grout pumped into the hole, followed by the installation of the anchor bar. Rebar pins, also called soil nails, are then installed and screen mesh secured to the soil nails, followed by the bearing plate and nut to the end of the anchor bar. Shotcrete is then sprayed over the entire panel, completing the panel. After shotcrete cures, the anchor bar is loaded and pole tested to the engineer's specification using a hydraulically powered tool. Once the anchor pin is tensioned, the nut is secured against the bearing plate and the anchor is now under load, supporting the excavation walls. This process is then repeated to the adjacent panel where the virgin dirt was and excavation then continues vertically downward. Interestingly enough, this type of shoring is only temporary as the building concrete foundation will later butt up against these panels, forming a permanent foundation wall. Once the excavation got deeper, Soon, no longer could the CAT 336E long reach reach the dirt in the bottom of the hole, which was the next cue for Bell Pacific to deploy their next custom piece of equipment, a CAT 349E with custom telescoping boom. This machine is the largest and deepest reaching of its kind in North America. The machine is like nothing you've seen before. It features a conventional CAT 349E as a carrier and a Cosman TA-3550 three-stage telescopic arm built by Cosman SRL, an engineering and manufacturing company based out of Italy. The telestick is a three-stage extending stick that can reach up to 35 meters deep 
and sports a 1.7 cubic yard clamshell bucket on the end. The 349E was prepped by removing the OEM stick and bucket, then Van Ed Equipment installed the Cosman TA3550 at their Port Kells facility in Surrey, BC. Van Ed installed high and low flow hydraulic circuits for the telescopic arm, for the telescopic arm functions in clamshell bucket rotation, Cosman wiring harness and control box, as well as CAT OEM lock valves for the boom and stick cylinders. A safety feature that would prevent cylinders from moving in the event of a hydraulic hose rupture or something similar. The 349 itself was fitted with an additional 4,500 pounds of counterweight, secondary hydraulic surge tank for additional hydraulic reservoir capacity, and a brigade camera mounted on the stick with a seven inch in cab screen for added visibility when the machine is reaching up to a depth of 35 meters. With the CAT 349E telestick deployed, the excavation could then continue vertically to a total depth of 120 feet. As a 349 and 352 in the hole dug and bailed up dirt, the telestick would then load it out from a pile, load trucks and pups on street, and export that dirt off site. Overall, the excavation took 15 months to complete, excavated 80,000 cubic yards of dirt, and reached a depth of 120 feet to the floor, with some of the elevator footings going a little bit deeper. It today is one of Vancouver's deepest digs to date and stands as a testament to the excellent team over at Bell Pacific Excavating and Shoring. So now you may be asking, how do they get the excavators out of the deep hole once it's complete? Well, that's easy, just hire a crane. Bell Pacific brought in Canson Crane, one of Vancouver's finest local crane outfits. Canson Crane brought in their Lee Bear LTM 1250, which is a mobile crane which can drive on the road. It drove up and set up adjacent to the, the excavation, pretty much exactly where the 336 Longreach and the 349 Telestick were sitting. The crane then reached down and picked up each excavator weighing roughly 120,000 pounds each, brought them up from the bottom of the excavation and placed them on the road to which they were loaded onto an awaiting low bed and hauled off to the next job because Bell Pacific is always digging deep excavations like this so the, their equipment is rarely sitting idle. It's always job to job to job once one job completes, another one's usually firing up.
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you gain an appreciation for deep excavation in downtown Vancouver. And I hope you learn a bit about what it takes to do these deep digs and why they do them. If you want to learn more about Bell Pacific Excavating and Shoring, I will leave a link to their website down below. You can learn more about them. If you're interested in a career, they have tons of people, both in-house technical people like engineers, equipment operators in the field, shoring folks, supervisors. They have a whole range of careers that you can start off and progress through. So I highly recommend you check them out. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on the next episode.